I bought the most expensive Instant Pot on Amazon. Today we're gonna figure out if it's worth it. So I figured the best place to get an Instant Pot would be Amazon. So I found one for $159.99. I then purchased it and two days later, it arrived. Let me introduce to you the Instant Pot Ultra 80 Ultra 8 Quart 10 in 1 Multi-Purpose Programmable pressure cooker. Now this thing has a lot of bells and whistles. We're gonna see how it compares to my trusty Instant Pot Duo. I bet you didn't know. I named my Instant Pots. This is Susan. So to help me compare, I'm going to make the things that I make the most in the Instant Pot. So the first one I'm making is rice. So you need one cup of rice into each pot. One and a fourth cups of liquid in each pot too. We're just using water. Now in my normal Instant Pot, or Susan, I usually just cook my rice for seven minutes. With the Ultra Instant Pot, I'm not exactly sure how it works, so please hold. In the fancy Instant Pot, they have a rice button that says it cooks for 12 minutes on low. We'll see how this goes. All right, gotta turn this little knob. There we go, to rice. 12 minutes, it has automatically set the pressure to low. Oh, and I think I gotta push start here. Normal Instant Pot, done. I can already tell you, it's gonna be perfect as always. Just how I like it. And still just waiting. Mm -hmm. All right, it's done. Gonna release the pressure. Let's see how it goes. Kinda nervous. Actually, I am pleasantly surprised. Also, it's not as sticky as the other rice, but it worked, all right guys. Low 12 minutes, it worked just fine. The next thing I'm gonna try is to steam my vegetables. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna add a lot in here. Add a lot in here. Add a cup of water. Lids on. And just one minute on these. All right, and because this is fancier, we're gonna try the steam button. See if I can figure this out. All right, one minute two. We'll see if that works. I also have the cutest little helper helping me today. This is Harper. She's now three months old. We both ended at very similar times. Nice, all right. All right, this is the normal Instant Pot Duo, and this is the new one. Both cooked all the way through. They both look good. I'm impressed. And now for the ultimate challenge, freezer meals. Now I cook these the most out of everything that I cook in my Instant Pot. I'm excited to try this one. Now just throwing it out there, we came out with a brand new freezer meal guide. I'll put the link down below in the description if you need a little help making freezer meals. So I'm making two freezer meals, both are chicken, so I feel like they're pretty comparable. They'll cook for the same amount of time. So in the normal duel, it's Mississippi chicken sandwiches. Dump my freezer meal right in. And then this one is barbecue chicken tacos. Now I want a little bit of water in each one so we have about half a cup. Then you're gonna put the lids on. All right, and both are gonna cook for 25 minutes. So we're gonna do pressure cook and then all the way up to 25. There we go because my chicken is frozen. Now on this one, Make sure I can do this right, here we go. All right, meat stew, so I'm gonna push it in. There we go, then that's the time. Nope, that's the time, push it again. <laughs> and we're also gonna do this one for 25. Once I set the timer, then I can push start. All right, they're done at about the same time. That smells good, nice. Now for the chicken test. This one was the duo. Oh, you can just like cut right into that. Yes, 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 and yes. And then the ultra. Guys, looking good. So in conclusion, I just have to say that the Instant Pots pretty much cook the same. Now the Ultra has a little more bells and whistles, like turning the time knob is a little bit faster, but there's a huge price difference, almost a hundred dollars. And so for me, I like to save money on appliances. I'm a big fan of my Instant Pot Duo. 
also known as Susan. All right guys, the goal is to cook something this week in your Instant Pot. Let me know if you do, and I'll see you next time. Bye.